Leslie Manville has been a familiar face on our screens for, for more than 40 years. She's collaborated with director Mike Lee no fewer than eight times and was nominated for an Oscar in 2018 for her performance in Phantom Thread. And now her latest role is an adaptation of the novel Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz. Leslie joins us now, uh, listening in intently to that. Good morning. Lovely to speak to you on the programme this morning. Um, so what can you tell us about this series, The Magpie Murders? Hmm. Well, yes, I mean, Anthony Horowitz, you know, a best-selling crime novelist, he has adapted Magpie Murders into a six-part series um, for Britbox. It streams tomorrow. And it's just a great, great, great murder mystery that spans two time frames. The, the, it's, a novel, it's, a, it's a murder mystery within a murder mystery because I play Susan Ryland, who's a publisher, and she has a very famous writer who she publishes called Alan Conway, played by Conleth Hill. Uh, he uh, dies under mysterious circumstances without having delivered the last chapter of his new book. So an investi investigation begins, and although I'm playing a publisher, she becomes involved in the... Uh, murder mystery and trying to work, um, is convinced that the clue to the murder is in the last chapter of the missing chapter of, of, of the new book but he drives around in an open top red sports car and i suppose in that sense she's kind of defying a convention of how women of that age are supposed to be how they're supposed to conduct their lives um so she's she's a bit rock and roll our season oh, I, and love I love the that sound of her. her i love her already <laughs> is she uh, did you is it true that i, I don't want to say who this is because i've been told that you had somebody in mind when you were playing her can you can you give us a, a little insight into who that was and why Listen, it's, it's, it's out there now, but, you know, I've always loved Emily, Emily Maitlis. I mean, what a journalist. Um, and uh, I, years ago, I sat in the BBC reception and I just saw her walk across the reception and I was so taken by her. Um, she, you know, she's got this genius mind. Uh, and she looked fantastic. You know, she was dressed immaculately. She had great shoes on. And um, when I was getting Susan Ryland together uh, in my head, I just thought, yeah, she's got little seeds of Emily about her. You know, Susan is very clever, highly intelligent woman, but she also is interested in her clothes and looking smart and looking great, which makes you feel great. So I channeled a little bit of that fleeting glimpse of Emily. I don't know Emily at all. Uh, I wish I did. Um, but yeah, I, I just thought she was a great kind of little in to Susan. Love that. And um, you've also been working hard on one of the biggest productions of the last couple of years, The Crown. Tell me where mm. you're up to with that. We're nearly at the end of shooting season five. And then there'll be a bit of a break and then we'll start doing the final season six. And of course you're playing Princess Margaret. How did yes, you get into yeah. that character? Who was your inspiration there? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a, lot, there's a lot of footage to watch, a lot of pictures and books to read. I, mean, I had a long time, a luxurious couple of years, knowing I was going to do the part. So I just read everything and it's, it's great. I mean, there's some fantastic books out there about Princess Margaret and of course, you know, I rewatched the whole of the first four seasons of The Crown because I'm picking up the baton from Vanessa Kirby and Helena Bonham Carter, two great actresses who sort of, I feel like they've done half the work for me. <laughs> we, um, we actually had, uh, on Monday's programme, we had uh, Erin Doherty on the, the show who, of course, played uh, Princess Anne um, in The Crown. And, and we spoke to her yes. about this. There is a there's an obsession, isn't there, with the royal family? And you feel you're, you're part of a programme which lots of people talk about, but also you can't give anything away, even though we sort of know the story in, in a way. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like a, it's yes. a national obsession with something we can't really talk about. I know, and of course, I'm, I'm, um, I'm a talker, so I'm, <laughs> I'm itching. I'm itching to, to say, you know, what I've been up to and what happens. I mean, we all know what happens, uh, but... Um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's, it's very frustrating that um, I can't share the details, but um, let's just put it this way. I'm having a nice time. <laughs> oh, and Princess Margaret, also a, a fantastic dresser as well, so I imagine that helps you get into character. Yes, I mean, um, the, the design, designer of um, uh, The Crown, Amy Roberts, her 
and her her daughter um, Sydney Roberts uh, have got some amazing costumes. Amazing. I mean, going into the costume department on the Crown is like walking into the haberdashery department in Liberties. It's just it's just bliss. I could I could I could live there. It's glorious fabrics, trimmings. <laughs> oh my God! It's just it's just heaven. And they're so brilliant. Of course, you know, it, currently we're at the, in the 90s um, in the series. So those kind of slightly big fabrics, brilliant. you know, it's great. Love it's all lovely. that. Leslie, lovely to talk to you this morning. Thank you so much. Uh, it's Leslie Manville talking about the Magpie Murders, which is available on BritBox from tomorrow.